guys, in today's class we are going to incorporate our magic circle. So if you have one, this is the perfect class for you to do, to add a little extra to your normal practice. And if you don't have one, get one. They're awesome and they're not that expensive. You can find them on Amazon, I think. If you've never used one, um, you're not meant to squeeze it in lots. So don't try to squeeze it in all the way. This is work for me. So just, just know that. You don't have to... Ooh, like, not needed. Okay, let's go. Alright guys, lie on down on the ground. Find a nice center place on your mat. Make sure that you have a room around you. Let your body be however it wants to be. Have your circle within reach. Legs can be long or bent. You're going to grab onto the circle. You're going to hold on with the palm of your hand to the pad of the circle and let your fingers be long and relaxed. You're going to reach towards the ceiling. Arms are shoulder distance apart because of holding in the circle. And you want your circle to be a little more over your chest than your face so that your arms are in line with your shoulders. From this angle, I realize that it looks like I'm out of alignment. That's not good alignment for me. So you want to have your um, arms extended from your shoulders. So less circle over face, a little bit lower down. We're just going to squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Keep going. Activate that core. Obviously the arms are working. Arms are connected to your back, to your core, to the rest of your body. So it's never just one body part working by itself when we're talking about Pilates. Seemingly it is, seemingly like just our arms are working, but it's the entire body, or we want to try to get the entire body working. So your abs are stabilizing. I'm really feeling my legs on the ground. I'm feeling my shoulders and my back down on the mat. If they're not, go ahead and bend your knees. Bring your feet flat onto the ground. Try to be parallel. up. Keep that squeeze going, and we're going to squeeze a little faster. We'll go in and in and in and in. Let's do 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep the circle, curl up, lower down. Stay down, take the circle slightly behind you, slightly overhead. Back to the ceiling, curl up, and lower down. Arms continue. Add a squeeze when you curl up, release as you lower. Try to think about lengthening through the spine here. Keep going. I'm going to adjust just so I have more room behind me. So we're curling up and squeeze, release, and down. Really try to feel your cervical spine elongating, feeling your neck as part of your spine sequentially coming up. And down. We're going to do a variation on this. We're going to curl up, stay lifted, squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, lower down. Curl up, squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to reverse that. So we're going to curl up, lower down, arms will go overhead, abs stay shut. Keep the arms overhead. Five squeezes. <laughs> That's so hard. Five. Oh my gosh, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, curling up. Lower down. We've got about, I think, two more sets like that. Squeezing overhead for five, four, three, two, one. One. Wow, that's hard. <laughs> Until I didn't plan this one ahead of time. Last time, arms overhead, sweep. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the arms back up and all the way down. Wow. Is that just me? Oops, that that was hard for. I don't know what that was about. Okay. Let's do a little hamstring stretch. Hold on to the side of your circle. Take your foot to the pad and just stretch towards the ceiling. And extend your other leg. You have the space. Just a quick little hamstring stretch. As long or as short as you need, feel free to pause if you need longer. If you want to get into your IT bands and cross the midline, if you want to get in a thigh, working the rotators, you can open to the side too. But we might do that a little bit later. Okay. Let's keep going. Some of these might look familiar. You're going to curl up. You're going to stay lifted. You're going to take those legs to the tabletop. You're going to extend your left, adjust the circle if you need to, and right, 
and extend left and extend right. So abs don't abs are connected, hips and pelvis don't move. Add a squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. We'll do four and three. Squeeze two, squeeze and last set. Both knees in. We're going to do the knees out and in. Out and in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Let's do more like that. Last one. Rest down for just a moment. We're going to add on to that. We're going to do one more variation of that. Crawling up. You're going to take your legs through. Um, back. And out. Bending the knees in. Take your little legs through the circle. Crawl up further if you have to. And extend. Bend the knees, legs go through the circle. You curl up more as opposed to lifting your butt if you can to get those legs through. One or two more. Make sure you're breathing. Ooh, one more. Ooh. Ooh. And rest. Down. Those arms towards the ceiling. Feel the back of your body down. Feel your tailbone down. Take the legs long towards the circle. Curl up. Tap your shins and then reach your arms back. Tap your shins and back. Three more. And two. And one. Rest your head down for a minute. Lower your left leg as low as you can. Tap your right shin and then switch and switch and switch and switch and switch. We'll do four. Three, two, and one. Press down, rock side to side a little. I'm cautiously tapping my shin to the circle. My shins bruise really easily. I don't know if that's why I have shin splints from running. I mean, I guess you don't want to pound your shin into anything. Okay. Let's take our legs through. I'm going to take those circles to the outside of your thighs. Take those legs down. And make sure that your pelvis is not uh, tilted or tucked. Pretty nice and flat. Press the circle out and release. Press out and release. Is one leg pushing out more than the other? Check in. See what's going on with the body. And keep this press out going. You're going to reach your arms, hover your arms off the ground. Curl the head and shoulders up. We're going to work a little coordination. So keep the legs doing exactly what they're doing. We're going to reach the arms to the ceiling. Open the arms to the side. We're going to reach back down. Up to the ceiling. A little bit overhead. Open wide. And back down. One more circle of the arms in that direction. And then we're going to reverse the arms. Stay lifted if you can. Press down. Open to the side to circle up. Press down. Can you press down? Pull up a little more. This is the last one. Press the head. Keep the legs going. Go a little faster. Pressing out and out and out. Let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one. Release. Grab the circle. Take your legs out. Take the circle between your inner thighs. Legs are wide. Legs are turned out a little bit as well. Your feet can be towards the outside edges of your mat or slightly off the mat if they need to be. We're going to squeeze that circle in and release. Squeeze in and release. If you need to adjust your circle, go ahead. So we're using the legs, but I also want you to think about pelvic floor muscles a little bit too all of those muscles down there. So not just side to side. There are more muscles than that. You want the whole pelvic floor coming together and release. Coming together and release. In addition to those inner thighs are working, I'm feeling stable, stabilizing on the outside of my legs. My pelvis is down. The back of my head is down. A little bit faster with those squeezes in if you would like. 
D5, 4, 3, 2, 1, three, release. Grab that circle, bring the legs in, rock side to side. Hold on to the legs if you need to. Come on up. Take your legs along in front of you if you need a little assist. Take that circle around your feet to just get a little stretch in the back of the legs. Okay, make sure that you're centered on your mat in terms of side to side. Grab that circle. Reach those arms up, tiny pulses in those arms. Now sitting up, I feel more of the side of my body and a little bit into my back activating as I'm squeezing in. I'm working my postural muscles too, so I'm getting into those back muscles up on those sits bones. I'm letting my feet be a little relaxed. I'm letting my legs be a little relaxed so that I don't grip in my sides or in my hips. I'm focusing on my back and my core and my arms as I do these little squeezes. I'm going to pause. I'm going to keep my arms where they are. Take an inhale. Exhale. We're going to round down. We're going to roll down. I'm going to keep my legs soft. I'm going to roll down through the center of my spine. Make sure where am I? What's behind me? <laughs> Keeping my ribs closed. I'm going to take those circles as far back as I can. Circle towards the ceiling. Curl up. Exhale. Stay nice and tall. Exhale. A little more room behind me. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to round back. Just hold the circle for now. Exhale on the way up. Inhale to lengthen, reach the arms up. Bring the arms down. Squeeze the circle as you go down. Release that circle. Squeeze on the way up. Reach the arms up. Don't open the ribs. Lower the arms one more time. Squeeze the circle. Release that circle. Curling on and up. Squeeze. And lift. Good, guys. Bring that circle down. Set it down for just a moment. Pick up your butt. Come to the front edge of your mat. Towards the front edge of your mat. Do a little rolling. You want to be careful. Head, neck, back. We want to stay nice and aligned. If this bothers your back, don't do it. Um, if you need a little extra cushioning, Grab a little extra cushioning or fold up your mat a little bit. We're going to roll like a ball. Uh, I'm going to show without the circle and then I'll show this. So I'm going to go around my body and hold on to my shins. I'm going to look down towards my uh, belly button. And I'm going to roll back. Exhale to come up. Inhale goes back. I Stay rounded. I never let my head hit the ground because that could be dangerous and I don't want that to happen. Ooh. Trying not to, when I go back, kick my legs. So I'm holding on. So you're staying in this compact shape. If you're good with rolling like a ball and you want to challenge, you can let go. You can let go further. You can have a circle in front of your legs. I'm going to try that way. Been a minute. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this might not work. Let's find out. So what I noticed that I did with the circle is I put my knees together. When I am doing a regular without, my knees are apart. Up to you. That might have happened with you as well. <clears throat> you can also bring. Mm, no, don't do that. Okay, so there's a little rolling like a ball and a little roll down with our circle. Let's keep going. Come on into hands and knees. <clears throat> Bring that circle with you. Just round through the spine, lifting, lengthening to stick your butt up and arch. Enjoy that arch. A couple more times to round and arch in your own time. down onto your forearms and elbows. Legs are parallel behind you. <clears throat> Circle is down on the ground. Pushing up from your elbows. Don't collapse down. 
My hands are on the outside of the pads of that circle. My head is lifted. So in this position, I'm feeling a nice arch in my spine. I'm feeling my arms work a little bit because I'm pressing down. I'm feeling a nice opening in my chest and in my collarbone, and my abs are lifted and engaged. If you feel a little pinch in your low back, take your arms a little further forward, down a little bit, <clears throat> or tuck your pelvis under, take your pubic bone down towards the mat, or engage the abs. All of those things may need to be adjusted if you feel that low back is pinching. Check those abs first. So I'm going to lift the circle off. I'm just going to use some squeeze this year. Slow or fast, whatever you want them to be. I'm going to slow them down because I'm going to add a little double kick and release. I'm going to squeeze at the same time as I'm kicking. Really feeling my arms work so that my shoulders don't lift up to my ears. I'm going to do one more set, one more time each side. I'm going to rest down. I'm going to leave that circle down there. I'm going to lower myself down. You can turn your head to the side if you want. You can have your forehead down. Or rock those hips side to side. When you're ready, you're going to take your hands on the pads of the circle. Make sure that you have a little bit of space in front of you. You're going to lift the circle, your head, your arms, and your chest into a baby swan, and then lower down. Lengthen to the lift, shoulder blades are on the back. And down, my legs are activated behind me. Active behind me. One more like that. I'm going to lift again, I'm going to stay lifted. I'm going to reach the circle away, and back. Reaching away, and back. I'm not reaching very far. Feeling and I'm picturing my shoulder blades wrapping down around the sides of my body. Physically, I can't take the circle that far in front of me just because of my space. Um, <clears throat> but it's arms are not going to extend. Arms may not extend straight away from you. Just depends on your range of motion, flexibility within the shoulders. One more or two more. And then resting down. Rock those hips again. <clears throat> I am going to switch where my circle is. It's going to come to my back. <clears throat> Just let it be there for a moment. Reach around. Hold on with your fingers facing towards your feet. Elbows are going to fall towards the ground. They might touch. They might not. Either one is okay. <clears throat> I'm going to stretch my arms long. Instead of letting my shoulders come down to the ground, I'm going to roll, rotate, roll them up away from the floor. I'm going to lift my arms, I'm going to lift my head and lift my chest. Holding on to the circle, and then I'm going to lower down. Lifting, opening, arching, lengthening. One more just like that. We're going to add on. I'm going to lengthen and I'm going to lift. Without moving my shoulders, I'm just going to bend my elbows a little and stretch long. Bend just a little and stretch long. This is getting into your back and your arms and your shoulders <laughs> and your abs <laughs> and your legs. What did I miss? One more. Whew, rest down, release, rock side to side. You're not done yet. When you're ready, grab up onto that circle. Rotate the shoulders, rotate the arms. Lift the circle. You can keep your head down, or you can lift a little bit. Try to squeeze the circle when it's behind you. It's really hard to do. Let's try for five, four, three, two, one. Rest everything down. You can rock side to side. You can take your hands under your forehead. Set that 
to go off to the ground, off to the side, stretch back in a child's pose. Have your feet together and your knees apart, if that feels okay for you. Just breathe here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. When you're ready, come on up. If you need an extra moment, feel free to take an extra moment. Come to the left side of your body. And do a brief side body today. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> you want your shoulders and your hips aligned. I'm mostly doing this for the circle. So you have the circle on the ground. You have one hand on top, and the other uh, pad is on the bottom. You want this to be a little bit lower than your shoulder. You don't want it to be right in line because you don't want that shoulder to lift. So you want to have it be in a comfortable, um, comfortable position. And you want to be able to press down and release. Press down and release. So I moved it a little closer to me because I was feeling a little too far away. Trying to get into <laughs> that area um, underneath your armpit. On that top side, on that right side. So my right arm that's pressing down, checking in with the rest of my body alignment. If you would like to add any kind of leg movement, you can. If you want to just work the arm and the side of the body and the abs, you can leave it at this. If you want to add some legs, you can have legs bent. You can turn in and turn out without rocking in that pelvis. This is mostly about the circle and the arm for this one. We are going to use the circle with the legs in just a moment, actually. I'm going to keep my leg lifted and turn in and out. Let's do three, and two, and one, and down. So this one might be a little bit tricky to set up. I'm going to extend my legs long towards the front edge of my mat. I lift up on my arm. I'm going to take the circle on top of my left leg, the inside of my left leg. It's just above my ankle bone. I'm going to take my right leg on top. You might need help from someone. If you need a friend to help you, feel free. Ask a friend to help you. Only if they are living with you, because we're still dealing with what we're dealing with. So, bottom leg is pressing down, top leg is on top of that circle, and I'm just going to press and control that release. Press down and control. I'm trying to stay parallel. I'm trying to not let that be hiked up. Length, 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 length. <clears throat> and it might be that your circle is just not in the right place. So don't get frustrated if it takes a moment to figure out where that circle needs to be. Abs are still working. If I don't need this hand for support, I'm going to reach it up. So whenever we're using props, the farther away our prop is from our center, the harder it is. So if this is a bit, a bit of a challenge, you can also bring it in between our inner thighs and do that. But we already did that on our backs, so work a little differently on the side of our body. Let's just do five, four, three, two, one. I got a little sloppy on that side and I let it kind of bounce back and I let it kind of roll around. So do better than I just did when we do the next side. We'll talk about it. <clears throat> Grab that circle, set it down, take that top leg, take a little quad stretch. Just a brief side leg today. <clears throat> All right, so you're lying on the right side. Shoulders and hips are aligned. Right arm is where you need it to be. Legs are bent. And see that circle where you need it. That works for your alignment. Just gonna press down and release. Press down and release. So keeping the shoulder away from my ear, keeping my neck lengthened. 
If you want to just keep it as the arm, you can just keep it as the arm and the abs. When you're ready to add a leg, do whatever you did on the other side. If you followed along with me, I'm going to do the same thing that I did. But if you did your own thing, that's fine. Just make sure you repeat it on the side. So I'm just turning my leg in and out, and I'm trying not to let that hip move. I'm going to keep my leg lifted as I turn in and out. Three more. And two. And one. Bring my leg down. Taking my legs long. Turning that up just above my ankle bone. Trying to keep both legs parallel. that top hip, but I'm going to try to not rock side to side, press down and release. If you need to adjust where that circle is on your bottom leg or on your top leg, go ahead and adjust as you go, no worries. So if, see so yeah, the circle is shaking again on me for this side as well, so it just means I need to pay a little more attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> Pulling the release of that circle, but it's not necessarily a heavy resistance. It's a resistance, and part of it is the resistance, but part of it is you controlling the release of that. So it's not about how much the weight is, it's the quality of what you're doing. If you don't need that left arm, and take it towards the ceiling. I think I need it on this side. And be aware that you're not rolling forward or back. Let's do about four, three, two, one. Grab that scroll, set it down, take that quad stretch with that left leg. your back. There's more that we can do on the side body with that circle, but we're going to keep it, keep it kind of easy for today. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Take that figure four stretch. You might take the ankles. You can stretch the left leg if you need to. Take a little shift side to side if you want. If you're feeling this a little bit in your knee, go ahead and flex that right foot. That will help take it out of your knee. No rush. When you're ready, switch sides, crossing left ankle over right knee. Uncrossing and releasing from that stretch, rocking a little bit side to side. <clears throat> All right, gang. Let's do some teasers. How many teasers in a minute? Actually, let's do hundreds and then we'll do teasers. A little, a little moment for teasers. <clears throat> We're going to do without our circle. We'll reach those arms long, curl the head and the shoulders up, take the legs where you want them. Uh, on the ground, tabletop, or long. Pump those arms. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. <coughs> Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Halfway there. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, three more sets. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, last two. 
exhale two, three, four, five, and inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, and five. Rest down. Now we're going to do teasers. We will bring the circle into it. Hold on to the backs of your legs. Rock yourself up. Keep your legs lifted. Hold on to the thighs. Point those feet. Keep holding on. Walk yourself down calmly, calmly, calmly. Release the hands. Reach overhead. Abs are working like crazy. Reach for the legs. Pull in a push. Keep the legs in the air. You don't need to hold on. Let go. If you still need to hold on, we're going to do two more like this. Breathe. One more with the low, with the upper body lowering. I'm gonna stay lifted. If you're not letting go yet, that's fine. If you feel ready to let go, let go. Think about your thigh bones are going to lower one inch and lift, lower and lift. Try not to lower your upper body in reaction to those legs lowering. Hold back onto those legs. Taking a little bit of a breather, but try to keep the legs lifted. If you can, you can relax those feet if you need to. Grab that circle. Keep the circle on top of your shins. Balancing up on those six bones. Option, stay here. Work on the balance. Second option, take that low upper body down. With control. One more leg back. Take your feet down for just a moment. Added bonus, slash, maybe next time. <laughs> we're going to put a ball up there. And we're going to see what happens. Just so you know, we'll do that. Um, we're going to try one more variation with the circle in our hands. So take those legs back to tabletop. Reach those arms long with that circle. Lower right down. Stay there for a minute. Hold you. Change my mind, actually. <laughs> Extend your arms and your legs long. Come back in. Extend arms and legs long. Come back in one more. Press down for just a moment. Send your arms overhead. Come up. Go back down. Once you go down, you're going to come right back up. Straighten the legs if you can. Two more. you want to sit however is comfortable for you. See your arms overhead. Circle is going to look like a halo. <clears throat> so with this uh, circle overhead, you want to make sure that it's not too far back that we're arching. It's a little bit in front of your shoulders. Just take some squeezes and I'm going to bend my elbows just so you see. Just doing little squeezes overhead. Keep squeezing. Take the arms down. Keep squeezing. Lift the arms without opening the ribs, without arching the back. I'm going to about here. When I start to go that way, I'm arching a little bit too much. So we're doing little squeezes. Arms are lowering and lifting as we're engaging. Just going to do one more time down and up. And then we're 
rest. Yeah. Little side stretch. Really good to go. So, similar to when we were on the side of your body and you have that circle extended out, same idea. You want it to be not in line with your shoulder and your hip, but you want it to be slightly in front so that this shoulder can stay in alignment, the arm can stay in alignment. I'm reaching my left arm, I'm reaching up and bending this elbow, and I'm reaching over. Another option is to have it be a little bit further away to start and to push away, and push away and push down a little bit. So whatever feels better for you, if you want to try both, you can try both. If you need another moment there, feel free to hang out there for another moment. When you're ready, we're going to switch sides. Taking the circle on the left hand, taking it where it needs to be. Right arm over, and you can bend the left elbow. Or you can keep the left arm straight. And just lean that circle away. Keeping that left arm straight is a little less stable. It's a little more challenging. Having that left arm bent is a little more stability. Why I think I had said that was the last thing I lied. I thought of one more thing. Um, might not be able to feel this initially, and that's okay. But just something to something to leave you with. So the circle is around near my hip bone. It's kind of on my hip bone actually, wherever it needs to be, and just in regards to your body. So my hand, my right hand is on the outside pad, and the other is on my right hip. I'm gonna stay aligned, and I'm just gonna squeeze and release a little bit weird it's a little bit awkward but this is getting into these muscles back here or trying to anyway see so if you can feel those activating you can take your left hand there if you want feeling it in my shoulder as well you can also have it be a little higher up near your rib cage that gives a little bit of a different feel it activates a little bit differently try both and see if just see if you can um, feel those smaller muscles you're working. You may not be able to right now. That's okay. So wherever you started on the other side, start the same place on this side. If you need to hold that circle there. That is okay too. I'm trying to get underneath the armpit. Tune into your posture as well. I was leaning back a little bit. So if you do a few, trying to find it. And lift a little bit higher. Arm is going to be a little bit weird. Whatever, whatever works for you. Again, try to try different things. You want to be aware of your core is still working. You want to keep your posture. You want to try not to let this shoulder roll forward or lift. See if you can feel smaller, smaller muscles or smaller groups of muscles working. You might not, and that's okay. But just something to like to be aware of, to just try every now and then if you have this circle. All right. Thanks for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.